What's up Chroma fans, Ergonics here with another video for you. Uh, this one's going to be a little different because I'm not showcasing one of my profiles or another profile that I let enjoy. This is actually the start or the first video in a tutorial series that I'm going to be doing. Uh, this one's going to be obviously being the big first video, the basics, I'm going to break down the individual parts of the lighting effects for Razer Synapse and the Chroma Configurator. Now let's get started by opening up Razer Synapse. Here we have our lighting. You can choose one of your profiles. This is a whole bunch of a whole mess of stuff I made just for this video. Uh, so don't think that I have a bunch of things named profile one, two, and three. Uh, you can add a profile, you can just delete a profile, and you can copy, import, and export profiles as well. Now, I'm going to stop right here and explain that when importing or exporting a lighting effect, you don't want to use this. What you want to use is in the actual Chroma configurator itself, and I'll get to that shortly. Uh, you can name your profiles whatever you want. I'm not sure if there's a limit on how long the name is or how long the name can be. I generally just use one or two words and I understand. Uh, you can set function key and function plus number key sh shortcuts one through zero and you can link it to a program. You can pick any exe file and when Razor Synapse detects that that particular program is running it will change to the profile that it's linked to. Here we have the the basic lighting effects. We got our re breathing, our reactive, our spectrum cycling, static wave, ripple. I'll let you guys experiment with uh, those yourself. In fact, odds are good if you have a Razor Chroma, you've probably already checked all these ones out already. So we're, we're just going to leave that alone. This button really only works if you have something else that's Chroma related, like the Death Adder, maybe the Kraken. Uh, brightness, uh, switching or switch off all lighting when display is turned off. If you have a cat like me, the last thing you want is your cat attracted to your keyboard while you're not there. So I always have this enabled on all of my primary profiles. For instance, this one. Because the last thing I want is my cat jumping on my keyboard and playing with it because he thinks it's a toy. Obviously, as you can see, this is not my actual Cylon profile because this is not the first attempt at doing this video. All right, let's get into the actual configurator. Now, I'm going to just deselect all my keys. Here we have some custom templates. Clicking on these will just add a static layer to anything that you have down here. If this is your first time in the advanced Chroma configurator, there won't be anything down here, so you won't see anything. Uh, you've got basically your four genres of gaming. Unfortunately, there's no sort of less popular genres, let's say. And you can just pick any of these and it'll just add a static layer on top of everything else and you can do what, what you want with it. And then down here you can select what keys you want to apply your effects to. You can select individual portions or you can select all the keys. You can select individual keys if you want to select multiple click keys, you just hold down control here. You can just pick any keys you want. Yeah, you can select a, sec uh, a section of keys. You can, if let's say you have, let's add this one. If you have multiple effects on a single layer, you can, let's deselect, you can double click one particular effect and it will highlight all those keys. It's better than having to, you know, select a region and then hold control and select any keys that you missed or, you know, in the case of the green here, you've got a bunch of different keys around. All you have to do is double click and it'll highlight all the keys that you want to edit for that particular effect. And let's get down here. We're actually going to delete all these layers. A static is straightforward. You pretty much know what all of these are. Um, I'm going to get down into the different settings down here. There's 
on key press, we're going to apply this to everything. I guess I could have just clicked on this, probably faster than highlighting them all. And just click apply. You've got your RGB so you can customize your colors or you can use the little color palette or you can click here and uh, adjust it. If you're into the hex code, you can use that too. You have short, medium, and long effects for breathing with on key press and you can end it after one one time or never or on another key press and you have automatic which is end after a certain number of effects or never let's add let's do automatic and never apply this so now it's just gonna cycle through a whole bunch of random colors um, Reactive is pretty straightforward. You can set the duration of how long the reactive lighting takes effect. The short's really short. I th I think I always use the long for reactive. It just the short feels way too short, and the medium's kind of still pretty short. So I always go with long. I just prefer long. <laughs> um, that's what she said. Now. Uh, ripple is pretty straightforward. You've got five different default gradients that you can work with. Um, you can get a sixth gradient by customizing whatever effect you want. We'll go with this one. Um, you can set how many keys it passes over per second. Uh, fast is like really fast. As you can see here. It, it's really fast. It doesn't look good at all. Medium's okay, but like between 25 30 is probably probably where you want it to be. It it feels more. F that's still on medium, I think. No, it's on slow, but it it feels a lot better the slower this one moves. Let's increase the width here. Yeah, that's better. Um, you can pause it. You have a maximum pause for any effect at 60 seconds. Your end after a certain amount of times is a maximum of, um, I believe it's 100. Bam, bam, bam. Pretty straightforward. Uh, the ripple doesn't have an on key press end because it, it it's a fairly straightforward effect. Um, I'd show you spectrum cycling, but every time I enable it, this in the advanced configurator, for whatever reason, it crashes my computer. Well, I can't say it crashes my computer. It locks up my computer, so I'm forced to push the reset button. I can't open task manager. I can't control alt delete, alt F4, control shift escape. I can't do any of that. I am forced to actually hit the physical reset button on my tower. So I'm not going to show you the spectrum cycling, but I can tell you that there is no effects that or no adjustment to the spectrum cycling uh, static very simple you just pick a color it stays that color and wave again these five default wave effects apply to anything that you can apply a wave effect to and you can get your sixth by just modifying any of these uh, you can add little doodads here. Let's change some colors around here. This is going to be the ugliest wave ever. Yeah, that's pretty gross. But yeah, you can have s up to seven different colors in your gradient. I wish you could have more. Like up, up to ten would be good, I think. Um, you can just pick one and delete it. Oops. As I just add another one. Again, the speed in which the keys travel for wave fast is always terrible. Well, to me. Uh, that, that's my own personal thoughts on the matter. Um, I, I did get a notification on Facebook. Width, minimum 10%, maximum 300%. As you can see with the current setting, it's at 100%. 300% just makes it... Basically, this gradient here will... Um, be three keyboard widths long as opposed to just one. 
Uh, pause again, 60, 60 second max. You can do on key press and automatic. Uh, with automatic, you can end after a certain number of times or never. On key press, you can end after a certain amount of times, never, or when you press another key. Let's do, let's bring this back down to 100%. Now we're gonna, the split's kinda cool. It's, with 90 degrees, it goes from center out. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a nifty little effect here. Oh, right, I have it on key press. Don't need that. So it goes from the center out. Uh, if you go to 270 degrees, you don't have to make it exactly 270 degrees. I just do because I'm anal like that. Uh, it goes from at left and right to the center. You can angle this. So it kind of moves at an angle. Nifty little effect. Um, that's more or less it for the individual different styles. Um, you can add layers here. You can delete layers when there's more than one layer. And here is probably one of the most important portions. Uh, you can create a copy of the layer you have selected, or you can import a profile. This is where you're going to want to import the profiles that you get off uh, slash r slash pro, uh, chroma profiles or the razor forums or in you know YouTube or anything like that. This is where you want to import from. Uh, let's import my Cylon effect. And we'll delete this layer. I do that all the time. Alright, let's make that invisible so I know that's not supposed to be there. Cylon full. Alright, so delete that layer. Apply. Now, this also applies for exporting. Uh, exporting visible layers, anything that doesn't have the little eye here highlighted won't be exported into the Razor Chroma file. So make sure that you have all your layers visible that you want other people to see. And then you can just export it to any folder or whatever you want to do. And that pretty much covers the parts of the Chroma configurator in Synapse that affect your lighting. I think in the next video I'm going to maybe get into the bounce effect like I have with my Cylon here and go into detail on that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, have any critiques or advice or anything like that, go ahead, comment. Uh, if you like this vi video, found it useful, go ahead and like it, subscribe if you want to follow the series. I'll probably try and do these videos as quickly as possible uh, because I, I really like seeing some amazing profiles actually just just to end this video I'm going to I'm gonna import Namson's chroma cocktail which I think is a fantastic profile I think this is an amazing profile I really enjoy this one but yeah that's how you import pretty straightforward but yeah um, like comment subscribe perform those appropriate tasks or actions that apply to you and the social media voodoo that you do so well and stuff peace out uh, stop recording is over here on the other screen